Mastidoodle Dog Breed Info, Mastiff Poodle Mix What is a Mastidoodle Dog? Heritage, Mastiff Poodle Mix Other names, Mastipoo, Mastiff Poo, Mastiff Doodle, Mastiff Poodle Mix Before going into the video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which we have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart, and obedient dog without spending hundreds of dollars. So make sure to check the first link in our description to the free video series guide. Now let's get into today's video. Mastiff Poodle Mix Breed History Mastiff Breed History Mastiffs have quite the long and interesting history. They are thought to be distantly related to the pug, ancestor of the pugapoo, and brought to Europe from Asia nearly 2000 years ago. Impressed with their large size, Romans used the Mastiff to fight in arenas for entertainment. More recently, in the 1500s and 1600s, they were used for hunting bulls, bears, and lion baiting. They were also a common watchdog during this time. By the time the 1800s rolled around, they were mainly used for guardians and as companion dogs. Commonly found in the homes of nobles, these dogs were known for being gentle and mild-tempered. In 1415, Mastiffs fought alongside the British against the French in the Battle of Agincourt. After this battle was won by the British, it was estimated that only 14 Mastiffs had survived in the entire country. The Mastiff population was rebuilt mainly by the US breeders who sent dogs back to Britain. Poodle Breed History While commonly associated with the French, the Poodle actually originated as a duck hunter in Germany over 400 years ago. In German, Pudelin refers to the splashing in water that the dogs would do to retrieve waterfowl. The Poodle's curly, weatherproof coat as well as its natural swimming ability and high intelligence made it an excellent retriever. Eventually, Poodles made their way from the lake to the life of luxury as they were the breed of choice by French nobles, and eventually royalty across all of Europe. To this day, the Poodle is still the national dog of France. The entertainment industry then caught on to the Poodle's showy looks, intelligence, and ease of trainability and gave them a prominent role in circus acts across the world. While the Poodle started out as the standard variety, eventually the miniature and toy variations were bred. The Toy Poodle started in the United States in the early 20th century to be a city-dwelling companion dog. Due to the many positive personality traits and its hypoallergenic coat, Poodles are now commonly bred with a wide variety of other breeds to produce the designer hybrid dogs known and loved by many as Doodles. Mastidoodle Breed History The Mastiff and the Poodle both have long-lived histories in European countries. The first purposeful breeding of the Mastiff and the Poodle was done during the 1990s around the same time as the soft-coated Wheaton Terrier Poodle Mix and the Shizu Poodle Mix. After the Poodle gained popularity in the 60s and Poodle Mixed breeds started gaining traction in the 80s, more and more breeding options became available. The Mastiff was just one of many to be bred with the Poodle in the late 1900s. Mastiff Poodle Mix Appearance and Grooming How big do Mastidoodles get? Mastidoodles are a large dog that tower over most, but with two larger parents that is to be expected. On average, the male Mastiff is between 25 to 36 inches in height and the females, which are generally slightly larger, are between 28 to 36 inches in height. Males are slightly heavier, ranging in weight from 90 to 140 pounds, while females range from 90 to only 120 pounds. Mastidoodle Dog Breed Coat and Grooming The Mastiff Poodle Mix has a long, dense, and wavy coat. Poodles are regarded as needing a lot of maintenance more than most breeds. They generally need brushing almost daily. On the other hand, Mastiffs need to be brushed a few times a week. The amount of grooming that an individual dog needs depends on the dog itself. If the Mastidoodle puppy inherits more of a poodle-like coat, it will need grooming more often. However, if it more closely resembles a Mastiff's coat, then you may be able to go a few days in between brushings. You can expect to have a Mastidoodle groomed every one to three months, but in warmer climates it should be done closer to four to six weeks to keep them cool. Are Mastidoodles hypoallergenic? Do Mastidoodles shed? No, Mastidoodles are usually not completely hypoallergenic. Because one parent is hypoallergenic and the other is not, there is no way to guarantee that the offspring will be hypoallergenic. If a Mastidoodle breeder is guaranteeing their puppies are hypoallergenic, that could mean they aren't a reputable doodle breeder. Mastiffs shed rather heavily, while poodles are hypoallergenic and shed minimum. Mastidoodle puppies will most likely shed less than a purebred Mastiff because it is mixed with the lower shedding breed of the poodle. Mastiff Poodle Mix Health and Wellness Mastidoodle Dog Breed Lifespan The lifespan of the Mastiff Poodle Mix can range. On average, they tend to live anywhere from 8 to 14 years. Mastidoodle Dog Breed Common Health Concerns 
Mixed breeds are a good choice if you're looking to avoid common hereditary diseases that often run in purebred lines. However, all breeds have the possibility to develop some health problems. Some major concerns with the Poodle Mastiff mix include entropion, elbow dysplasia, and canine hip dysplasia. While not as prominent, some other possible health problems that may develop include progressive retinal atrophy, cataracts, hypothyroidism, and Addison's disease. Due to the cost of treating these common health concerns, we highly encourage all dog owners invest in pet insurance. We recommend getting a free online quote from Healthy Paws Pet Insurance. Mastiff Poodle Mix Temperament and Personality Mastidoodle Dog Breed Behavioral Traits Like New Poos, St. Berdoodles, and Great Denoodles, Mastidoodles truly are gentle giants. Don't let their large size and ferocious pass for you. They're a great family dog and have been known to do well with kids of all ages. That being said, sometimes they forget how big they are, so ensure supervision around small children and elderly adults. These dogs love their families and are very loyal. This makes them good watchdogs. They will be quick to give a warning bark to any approaching danger and their size alone is intimidating. The Poodle is an especially smart dog breed, so frequent mental stimulation is important. Without it, a Mastiff Poodle mix may participate in destructive behaviors simply because they're bored. Mastidoodle Dog Breed Activity Requirements The Poodle requires a lot of physical activity, but the Mastiff only requires a moderate amount of activity. It's safe to estimate that most Mastidoodles are moderate energy level dogs. Expect to spend around an hour a day engaging your Mastidoodle in physical activity. This can include walks, jogs, a good game of fetch, or time to run around with friends in the dog park. While most homes are suitable for a Mastidoodle, an apartment may not provide the best lifestyle due to the dog's large size. And don't forget to check out the free video series that teaches the quick and easy way to an obedient dog, so make sure to get yours by clicking the first link in the description. If you like the video then make sure to hit that like button. Also if you want more dog training, guides, information then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments and thank you for watching. And please consider subscribing our channel for more about dog training and dog breeds content every day.